Hello, hello everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar. Alright, we are towards the end of our first spring. Uh, we just completed the, a bazaar um, at the end of the last episode, and we have a visitor because we bought an upgrade from that bazaar. Hey there, how are you? Come on in, Wilbur? Yes, Wilbur. <laughs> Finished up that job, you ordered at the bazaar. Go check it out, okay? Alright. See you later. He was, he was very sneaky in the night. He he upgraded my storage. <laughs> so we have another page. Which may be useful in the summer. Especially if we go fishing and if we want to store the fish. That we catch and maybe maybe sell at the bazaar. We probably won't get that much money for it though. Uh the results of the bazaar are announced today. Let's go hear the results. We've we met the profit goal, although we still haven't gotten enough of the overall goal to upgrade the bazaar. That's not for a while yet. Great, looks like everybody is here. It's time to announce the bazaar results. Our top three earners in third place with 34,000 gold. Joanne, congratulations. She'd be selling lots of cookies. And wine. And milk tea. And who's next? In second place with 44,500 gold. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Raul Store, congratulations! You sold that much on seeds, eh? That's a, that's a lot of seeds. And in first place with 53,910 gold. With my seaweed stew stand. <laughs> Milan, congratulations! I, I merely bought stuff from Shen and then repurposed it and sold it. Okay. <laughs> Impressive. I should learn from you. Yes. You got, gotta, gotta buy low, sell high. And the person with the happiest customers was... Oh, that's not me. Like, <laughs> none, of, none of, like, hardly any NPCs came up to talk, talk to me. Raul, the customer said your service is top-notch. Congratulations, Raul. You answered all the questions correctly. You've all done the town proud. Keep up the good work. For being in the top three, Milan will receive a token of thanks. Is it an olive? Maybe a wool? It's an olive. I hope you like it. Thanks. Thanks. For our goal to be the best bazaar in the country, we are. Slowly inching forward. I, I want to say it's 450 total. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're inching there. We're not halfway, but our progress seems slow, but we've got to keep at it. Okay, let's keep trying. Our goal for the next bazaar is for 40,000 to 50,000 gold again. If we want to win the profit goal, we can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. Work, work, you slaves. For the benefit of the town. Let's put away this flippin' olive. A precious flippin' olive. Hey, yeah. Yeah. cow. I will brush you, love you, milk you. Maybe put your milk in the windmill and we can make cheese. The yogurt took a while to manufacture. But I believe cheese is super duper fast. How are trees doing there? They sp sprouts. I think they give me fruit in fall. I wonder if they will provide this fall. It would be nice. It would be nice to see it. No, oh, like another another mint. Maybe. Maybe I will make another yogurt. Big a fertilizer. Uh, can't make any more weed. Why not? I'll make a yogurt. Seems a little fancier because we're just combining herbs with the milk. Oh, look, there, there's there's a weed. <laughs> it, it's kind of pointless to to blow to blow on it. For one yogurt, that's gonna get completed anyway, just because we're gonna just go to sleep. But it's kind of funny. <laughs> that 
that uh, blowing, blowing into the microphone is a feature that they included in this game. Yeah. So nothing to spoil. Tomorrow is a festival. Yeah, we've got a bit of that savings. Sooner we, sooner we sleep, the sooner we can get to summer. The tea party is today. Bring tea to share with everybody. I did. I did convert. Felix did give me a free spring tea leaf, which I, I made into green tea and then I made that into matcha tea. <laughs> or I can use my crappy straight tea that I found in the river. It should be fine. I don't know who dumped it in there, but it should be fine. The matcha tea for myself. You ate and then immediately fell asleep. You are me. <laughs> you, you are me when I come home from work. I, I just want to eat and then I want to sleep. We want to do the tea party. We have to wait till 12. I guess I can hunt for, for that one butterfly that I'm missing. <laughs> one butterfly that I can get in year one. I'll, I'll have to wait for. I'll have to wait till year two for the remainder. Ooh, ranch. So many sticks. Seems to be a long-headed locust. So I'll take the yogurt out. What's what's kind of neat? If you want to, you could leave products in the little storage thing in the windmill, and the freshness won't go down. And at and acts like a time capsule. <laughs> there is a time a time stopping capsule. Let's see if I can find this one butterfly. I want to say it's up here. This is like the one place where I haven't captured the butterfly. This is a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt to get it up here. I'll look for weeds. Anyway, today has been a pretty sleepy day. I haven't been able to record all day because the power was shut off, so things could get worked on. My sister added, wanted to add a car charger, charging port to the power box. Yeah, so the, yeah, the big chunk of the day I couldn't record, so I read a bunch, read a bunch of stuff. Uh, I read volume 49 of Skip Beat. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's still going. Uh, it, it's a slow grind. There was some, there was some high points. Uh, I want to say like around volume 45. Where uh, the ship, the ship finally sailed, but then, but then the ship got diverted. They, they finally got together and then they just kind of forgot about each other. <laughs> they, they had an arc where she went to Disneyland essentially without, without, without the ship, just with other random people. I'm like, come on, how many volumes is this going to go for? <laughs> It's like a little fed up with that, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. Probably some nostalgia going, but Skip Beat is still a fun time though because of the nostalgia. I watched the anime like so long ago, and the plot was the beginning plot was pretty juicy. Mushrooms. I wonder, can I make steamed mushrooms? I have a pot. Let's really try. What's the worst that can happen? I, lo I lose the mushroom. Cover that recipe. The shiitake. Here I am praying. There we go. I made steamed mushroom. First time making this recipe recorded. This is actually one of Wilbur's favorite items, I believe. I can actually just give it to him right now. Storage. I can show off the, the the vast capacity. Oh, didn't quite reach that many pages. The vast capacity of my storage that can now hit three pages. Hey, yeah. Hey. Yeah, I read volume forty-nine of that. 
I got reminded of the series again because I got a random package. Um, I was collecting the skip beat uh, three in one volumes, the manga. This is like when I decided, like before I decided that it was probably a better idea to just get all my manga digital because <laughs> I don't have space for that much manga. But what was it? I got volume 15, 16, 17, I think it was, finally in the mail. And just like, I ordered this. I ordered this during the pandemic. And like, I realized I never got it. And then it just like magically popped up in the mail. I'm just like, huh. I didn't even think to like get a refund. I did get it with like a gift card, like funds that I got from a gift card. So I like, I guess I wasn't really missing the money, cause like the money was a gift anyway. I'm just like, huh? Finally, finally came. Thought like maybe, maybe like it fell in the ocean or something. Maybe they finally remembered. Like, oh, oh geez, we we have an we have an order here that we have to, we have not yet to fulfill. I just kind of find it funny that I. Like, got that volume finally then. Mm, yeah. Probably being too critical on the series. It, it is good. <laughs> I just wish- I just wish the romance would stop... ...dancing around... ...dancing around the ship. Like, you both like each other. Like, just date already. Be all dramatic about it. It's almost 12. Everyone's here. Father worked so hard for every festival. All the dialogue is the same. I've been looking forward to this festival. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm alone. The mayor, the mayor was looking for you. I can't talk to him until 12, though. He'll say it's too early. This is such a fun festival. I don't know what accent to give. I, I'm trying to do like a French accent for Angelo, and I can't do I can't do the French accent. So like I just have to replace all like a bunch of letters with like z. Oh, did you talk to Felix yet? Not yet, buddy. Are you excited about today's festival, Milan? This festival is okay, I guess. Kevin, hey, Milan, today's gonna be great. And we got the old people. Oh, I love festivals. <laughs> Hello, Milan. It's an exciting day. Hey, yeah. I get to drink tea. <laughs> Look at this turnout. How exciting. <laughs> this should be fun. I'm excited. We got the children. I like festivals. Do you? Festivals are pretty cool going to be a great festival today. <laughs> festivals are always so fun. My girls love them. Freya. Are you excited about today's festival? What festival is this again? I just woke up and r just rolled out of bed and came here. <laughs> There's a festival today. I'm so excited. <laughs> today's festival should be lots of fun. But you're a little early. I know it's hard to wait, but come back afternoon. Go bother Raul. Luckily, Raul's store is open in case you need to do business on a festival, which I find really nice. Mm -hmm, that's a pretty good price for a mushroom. But you can't you can't cultivate mushrooms. You can only find them. So trying to make them into a, into a profit thing might not work out. I'll sell all these bugs. They're clogging up the inventory. And after reading Skip Beat, I decided to read another manga. I finished Volume 7 of Abandoned Empress. Which I enjoyed. The art is really nice. <laughs> Not to spoil the plot. Yeah, even even if I like I kind of forget like the plot a lot of the times because of the the slow release dates. Uh, but it does a good job at like kind of reminding me of the of the main the main drama. I finally got to the main drama, or her, her fate, her fate that she is so afraid of is coming for her. Let's we'll see how things really go down. All right.
right, have some tea. Today is a tea party. Did you bring some tea? I brought the tea. Found it in a river. I don't know, this is it's gonna have a Boston tea party here. Great, let's get started. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I choke on my words. Look at that, we're having tea, cookies. I think that's a bomb kitchen and a steamed cake. Thanks for coming. Joanne has organized this wonderful tea time with tea and snacks for us. Actually, I just made the snacks. Alon is the one who provided the tea. I, that one can. <laughs> Enjoy, everyone. And we all have tea and eat sweets. Thank you so much for your help today, Milan. Here, please take this. I got some cookies. Let's do this again next year. I want to say maybe like the, the rank of the tea that you give her determines your prize. Oh well, I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it, sell it anyway. And I think for participating you get 500 friendship points with all the participants. I'm happy that everyone had a wonderful time. Thank you for today, Milan. <laughs> Thank you for today, Milan. Thank you for the tea. That was a ton of fun, thanks! Thank you for today, Milan. <laughs> the food is really good today. You're really something today. <laughs> Nash one. Everyone's like, yay, I got tea. That was delicious, thank you, Milan. Wow, everything was great. Antoinette does like tea. She's not a she's not a big fan of straight tea though. She likes more fancy tea, like Russian tea and royal milk tea. Thanks for today, Milan. That was delicious. Scrumptious. That was pretty good. Thanks, Milan. Seems like everyone had fun. That was wonderful, Milan. That was lovely. Like, everyone's dialogue is just kind of like, eh, they don't- they don't really mention the tea. They're just like, oh, that was good, that was delicious. This was a great day, Milan. Thanks for today, I'm so full. I guess this is a little bit different than, like, a festival where you try to win. <laughs> like the flower festival or an animal festival where if you lose, they're just like, oh, that's too bad, you suck. I can put this fertilizer. Make an item. I can also make some cheese. I have some milk in storage. Throw that in there. And I can make more fertilizer. My cow's inside, right? I didn't I didn't bring him outside because I wasn't intending to stay out till 5 p.m. I forgot to give the I forgot to give the steamed mushrooms to Wilbur. Oh well. Let's go to bed. Today, next day is going to be the last day of spring. The rainy day. Today is the last day of the month. Most crops will die if they aren't harvested. I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Rush, 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 rush. I'm like interrupting your feeding. I just like I just gotta do I just gotta do my chores and then go to bed. Right, you can eat now. You have my permission. Have some crappy rank fertilizer. One time. Some more weed. I guess I should pick up the rocks too. I will need them for manufacturing of the tools. Do my crap fertilizer. Some cheese. Some poop. We have a plant-based fertilizer here. No poop involved. <laughs> Slide down the stairs. And head to bed. Like, oh, there's there's water clinging to us after coming in from a rainy day. Let's go to bed. 
And now we hit summer! Now we want to exit out the front door today. You get this cutscene. Hey there, Milan! If you exit out the barn door, you won't, you won't get it. You won't get this. But also a rainy day. Rainy day might also stall this scene. Where are you going somewhere? Perfect timing then. I have a question for you, Milan. Do you like fishing? I wanted to give you a fishing rod, you see. I'll be happy to tell you how to use it as well. Alright, tutorial time! You can go fishing on the docks around town. Just equip your fishing rod, then press the B button to cast. Hey, wait. The fish will be attracted to your lure. You kind of see there's also three sizes of fish. As the tiny fish, and the medium fish, and then far farther out you cast as a big fish. Uh, we only have a rod that can get the little fish. <laughs> Unless the wind is, is high. Uh, the fish will be attracted to your lure. It'll move closer and closer to it, and then... They'll bite! When that happens, press the A button as fast as you can. Ready? Okay. Good. Just gotta look at it. There it goes, looking at it. And then tap, 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 tap. Well done, you've caught a fish! Remember, if you don't press the A button quickly, the fish will escape. Also, you won't be able to catch faraway fish with that rod. However, I'm sure you'll be able to find a better rod that'll cast far farther. Then that'll take until year two. And I won't find it, you'll sell it. And that's how you use a fishing rod. You think you got it? I got it! And I tossed the fish back. You don't get to keep tutorial fish, Rip. Also, the kinds of fish you can catch vary by location. Therefore, try fishing in lots of different areas. Here it is, our free rod. Well, I'll be on my way now. Have fun fishing, Milan. Alright, so we got the short fishing rod. It has two and a half stars on it already. Um, if we get some copper, and if we unlock the manufacturing windmill sometime in summer, we can upgrade it. Probably notice that the other tools also have ranks that w that we need we need ore to upgrade. So yeah, if we if we make some good profits off selling seaweed, uh, I could probably think about investing in some ore at Lloyd's store. All right. Maybe I can take my cow out today to pasture? I've been looking for any excuse to let my cow out in the sun uh, without wasting too much time, so... Oh, please get out of the doorway. Cannot sleep with me, cow. You're not a pet cow. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be, this is gonna be annoying. <laughs> So maybe I'll let him let him enjoy the sun while I go do some fishing. Try to try to get my fishing compendium up. Oh, we got some new bugs too. New music as well. I hope you like the snazzy summer music. I, I do like a little there's like an accordion. The accordion sounds. It's fun. Fun sounding. Got a long head of And yeah, now we have new bugs to look out for. Uh, cicadas you'll usually find during the day. And then at night, oh, we... This is like irrelevant, but you'll see this a lot. Working hard, Milan! What? <laughs> Stuck up on me there! You use this windmill quite often, don't you? That's why I've been thinking of replacing its parts with new ones soon. Kind of creepy that he's just like you're just da -da -da -da, collecting collecting the items like from from the little storage area in the windmill and then he's just like boo ho, ho, ho. let me take a look oh the parts look in good shape actually looks like it'll be fine for the time being ah I think that your windmill level has changed. This is like such a weird little cutscene that happens just to be like dun, 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 dun. And our windmill level is now Apprentice Windmiller. Uh, this is... I don't know, this is just a rank. Arbitrary rank. Nothing really happens. You just... Yeah, they just give you a windmill rank for, for making stuff in the windmill. <laughs> Makes you feel good, I guess? Well, I'll be on my way now. 
Don't forget to keep making items with the windmills. You will you will keep sneaking up on us as we make more items. Alright, let's make some more fertilizer and some more cheese. And yeah, I guess I'll I'll try to be careful. Another weed. I, I do need I do need another bag of fertilizer. It's gonna be I'm gonna get real annoyed at catch it, catching the cicadas. Um what was I saying? Um in the evening though, there'll also be some other bugs. Um there'll be fireflies that you can catch usually on the floor. Usually by the river. I'll find them at. And then there'll also be little little beetles tucked to start to the trees where the cicadas are usually at. And a brown cicada. Did I mark that off my list? Brown. Uh, let me cross that off. And yeah, the the beetles. Um, they're actually a pretty good gift for Dirk if you want a cheap gift for him. And if you find a big pincher bug, I think Kevin. That's Kevin's favorite gift. Fireflies are also. A loved gift by Raul as well. Come on. This thing. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. The, the cicadas get like spooked. Like from the minorest movements. Bug. Piggyback locust. The first time I caught the piggyback locust. Uh, let me mark that off my list. Get, it, I could have caught this in spring, but got in summer instead. There we go. More bugs. You can also do some fishing. Alright. Yeah, there's many piers that we can fish off of. Oh, top perch. Seven centimeters. First time you caught this fish. Catch. There'll be many fish to catch in different seasons with different rod upgrades. Where's the outcha perch? Here, you can catch that in spring, summer, and fall. No, it's a dark chub. Oh, it almost looked like a medium sized fish. Dark chub, you can catch that spring and summer by either the grinding windmill or the cafe. Fish bones, oh boy. You can also catch pirate treasure um, in certain weather conditions. I think it has to be a fall, heavy, rainy day. Very specific. I think you can catch it with any rod though. Uh, but yeah, I probably I probably won't aim for it because the conditions are, are are too specific. We'll have better luck making money with uh, with grass and fall anyway. Killerfish. Centimeters. Mark off the killerfish. This is killerfish. You can only find this by the grinding windmill, spring and summer. First fish you caught. First time I caught this fish. Randomly saying words. I think this might be the last. I can catch an ember meadow here. And then that's like the last fish I can catch in this area in this particular season. I'll have to move on somewhere else. Yeah. Now I got a new record. I'm just gonna chill. Chill and catch fish. These also be used for recipes. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this game, there are recipes that uh, differentiate between the fish species. So there's not just recipes that like just call for small, medium, or large. There will be recipes where you're just like, you need this particular fish 
to make this particular dish, and it'll be kind of annoying. For the most part, when I cook, I will try to get most of my cooking recipes off the food stalls and the Zephyr Cafe. I will try, try to just buy them off, <laughs> buy them off vendors, and then whatever I can't buy from them, I'll have to cook though. If I don't catch the Mermidum now, maybe I'll go down to the waterfall to catch more variety. Okay, I caught the Ember Meadow. Alright, mark that off my list. Get to the waterfall or the windmill. All year round. First time we caught this fish. Pretty high rank. I wonder. A little bit annoying that... Yeah, I was like, I was hoping maybe there was a way to combine... To combine uh, the ranks of fish with like a certain button input, but I think they made that a feature in a different game. But you don't have to wait too long to catch a fish. Silver goby. It's at the Waterfall Zephyr Cafe or Raoul Shop. In spring and summer. I think I can catch a sweet fish here, and then I have to move on. Oh wait, I can also no. I think I just I'm just looking for a sweet fish. A bigger fish. Yeah, there it is, sweet fish. First time catching this medium fish. You know, you don't just catch small fish with the rod. Oh this oh is a walnut hiding behind the trees. <laughs> Butterflies, less butterflies is more just more cicadas. Where are you? No, it's not it's not a good fishing spot. Because <laughs> I need to put hey. put the thing away to grab bugs. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's not a landing point. Doesn't take that much stamina to fish, I see. Alright, that's fish. By the Zephyr Cafe. Is there actually any fish here? Catch, I need to catch a willow gudgeon and can't catch a stripe shiner. Shiner, that one there's a willow gudgeon. Let's <laughs> uh, mark that off the list. Um, okay. First time catching this. Hey. Next area, let's go to Raul's. Hey. In front of Raul's shop. Is there anything I can catch here? I think a dark sleeper. I can catch all year round here. And a bitterling I can catch all year round here. And a boot, apparently. Got long boots. And a crucian carp I can also catch here all year round. Using the short rod specifically. And a pale chub. There's some other ones in different seasons, though, so we'll, we'll be big. Yeah, I separated out, like, I made a fishing checklist and I separated it out by, like, what rods I get. First time catching this. Make it a little bit easier for me to, to get stuff right away. Right, bitterling, there we go. Check that off. Bam. Mm -hmm. Got another bitterling. Largest bitterling. I don't know if I'll try to catch the. I don't know if I'll go for the record. The record catch. I just want to catch at least one of everything, though. Dark Sleeper. Sounds very ominous. Mark that off our list. This is 
the first time I caught this fish. See if I can get a pale chub now. For goby. Larger silver goby than I caught before. Do, 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 do. Chub and Crucian Carp. It's a pale chub! Mm, I think I could probably move on. Ah, my fishing rank went up to novice fisherman. Hogs. I think I'll go to the manufacturing windmill now to get more variety. Oh, look, there's new flowers. There's also a bug there. Dang it, no. Let me put that away. Got a spring cicada, but it's summer. Bags full. Uh oh. Uh, I can either put something in my mouth or sell stuff. Raul, I need your help. I have too much garbage. I should have just let it go. <laughs> let it oh, oh no 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 no. Oh, thank God the dock is there. Uh, I can put you on the ground. There's also radishes for sale. We're not gonna plant any radishes, but it's for sale. And we don't want to throw stuff in the river. <laughs> that counts as littering. Garbage that I don't think there's any use for the fish fossils or the boots that I'm aware of. I don't want to save this for the bazaar. Some of them might actually turn a good profit. But they take up a lot of space. I just want to get rid of them. I don't like how they, they have so many rings too. Alright, I'll keep the rest. Terrible for uh, inventory management. Mm, I'm gonna pick up this stick. Might be a bad idea to pick up the stick, but I picked it up. We got pink cats. New flower here. Mm -hmm. right, so, what can I catch here in this season? Uh, a lot of them are spring and winter that I'm missing. <laughs> I can still catch a Crucian carp here. And fish bones. Dead fish. If only there were fish fossils. I can also catch a top mouth Gudgeon. And I think that's it for this season. Unless I hit a stormy day. So those two fish, top mouth Gudgeon and Crucian carp. And then I just have to wait. Boot, great. I gotta kind of give kudos to the ground clutter. Um, the, the flowers that are like lining the path down there, they do look very pretty. <laughs> and they, they almost look like moon drops that I can forage and I get, I, I get confused. <laughs> I get confused when I see those flowers down there. Chub. Fast. Got attention of it fast. Nibbling on it for a while though. No, 
I'll take my bait. Pushing cart, there we go. Uh, cross that off my list. Now I'm just looking for a top mouth gudgeon. One more! Almost time for bed, too. There should be some fireflies. Once we, once we switch screens over, the fireflies and beetles should come out. Okay, now I'm just gonna catch a bigger cushion carp. No, not the dead fish. I need the fish with the flesh still on it. Chub. Bigger. Gonna get a gold star. Gonna get a gold crown fish. I kind of find that fun in like Monster Hunter. Like they had. They had a size variance for the monsters, you can get like a gold crown monster. Either like a large crown or you can get like a small little tiny crown monster. Like you can you can fight like really really tiny monsters or really really huge monsters. It's fun 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 to like that little randomness found kinda of fun. I don't know if it, it like affects their power. Oh the fighting! Sometimes fighting a big monster is fun because, like, oh, I can hit it, like, so much easier. Or else, or else sometimes it's harder to fight because you're just hitting their ankle. And then sometimes, like, the little tiny, like, Lugombies or something, or those little bears, you're like, I can't hit it. It's, like, microscopic. Right, I should probably head home soon. I don't want to stay up too late and have my cow get mad. No, no, no mad cows here. Boot, all right. Start making our way back home. Hey. Let's keep an eye out for treasure. We have... No, they ran away. I should probably be walking. Hey. Really sit. Hey. Yeah. No, no illusion that I have enough space hey. for all yeah. this. Beetles? I keep running. By walking. Got a princess firefly. This time we caught this. And we leveled up. I'll probably mark off the princess firefly off my list too. Your critter catching rank is now skilled critter catcher. Oh, I dropped it in the river. Okay, well. <laughs> rip. Uh, I, I hate how... The buttons get mixed up. Let's walk here. I saw that beetle. That hurt. That hurt. But luckily I'm not relationship grinding, so <laughs> there's not really a loss there. Time for bed. I see you. Got rhinoceros beetle. Cross that off the list. Keep it in a cage. How much perishables can I fit in here? Might have to sell some stuff at Raul's. Hmm. I hit the limit. get rid of. I must sell. I must make some sacrifices. The flowers. Roll shop should still be open. Open late. Uh, I don't really need the hoe or the watering can at the moment. Probably buy some more stuff. Ooh, I see a little, little bug. Japanese firefly. Cross that off my list. Let's keep it in a cage. 
be up late tonight. Searching for bugs, especially since it's like the only time you can find like the fireflies and the beetles by waiting. Waiting. Waiting until nighttime. Dirk. Hey. So that. I wish there was a faster way to sell this. Anyway, what else have I been up to? I don't think there's like any anime to watch. I watched the newest episode of Tsukimichi Remonster. Not that one. <laughs> that one chilling in another world with my level two skills, I think it was called. I told my boyfriend to not watch it because I, I read the first two chapters of the book and I was just like, it's not good. We're, we're watching that one. They haven't gotten to the raunchy part though, which is like super awkward and it makes no sense. But I, I hated what they did with the Fenrir. I was like, oh, here's this noble, this this prideful noble demon wolf, and they just made her like, ara ara waifu. I am so cute, Anata darling. Yes, like what? That's not your personality. That's that's not what your personality was before. <laughs> Hello! Who is this? Is this... Is this heart event? Heart event? I stumbled into one. Ivan, what are you doing? Hmm. What are you doing so late at night? Good evening, Milan. I am just, uh, bug hunting right now. Anyway, I was just watching the fish. I've been reading a lot about fish, so I wanted to observe some. Happy now. I've been catching fish. Are you interested interested in fish, Milan? Yeah, I'm trying to catch them all like Pokemon. <laughs> oh, really? That's great. There's an amazing variety of fish in this river. I bet I'd be a great. I bet it'd be a great spot to do some fishing. You can watch me. That's okay. That's a kind of a. <laughs> that was Ivan's black heart event. Very simple. The responses are like very basic. Ooh, with silver. Hey, hey. They're like, you like this? I'm like, hell yeah. Like, I better. Or else you'll hate me if I don't. What if I said I don't care about fishing? Like, <laughs> you're just gonna lower your opinion of me? Like, how dare you not be interested in what I'm interested in? Let's keep it in the cage. This is a gold box beetle. Is there any bugs up here? I keep checking. It's this is a snowboarding course. You have to wait till winter for this though. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun mini game. Hey. Hey. Right, probably head home if we wait till midnight. Hey. Wait till midnight. We can have a a funny cutscene. <laughs> A funny cutscene that rolls. That's gonna be annoying to get because there's a cutscene variant for that. Um, at different ranks or, or a different uh, a different number of times that you jump that you jump into his chimney and I have to do it a total of a hundred times, just like in Tale of Two Towns. I can't believe they thought that was a good idea for a cutscene. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll actually jump down there because I'm like already I'm already out this late. Why not? That is the rhinoceros beetle spot. There are more trees here. You are a bug that. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> Got a white beetle. <laughs> Uh Oh, I already caught one of you. Or at least I marked it off. Oh, I must have marked off a different white beetle. Was it White Hill? Or White Giant? Who knows? I see you. You're brown, but I see you. Pincer beetle. Not it's not the big pincher beetle though. The 
Kevin likes the big one. Hey. Hey, yeah. Try not to run, but walking is slow. Hey, yeah. I'll just, I'll just wait. I'll just wait till midnight, <laughs> and then I'll go to bed. Anything else perishable? The, the chamomile. Hey. Go. This is the only cutscene. <laughs> Jump down the chimney after midnight. Phew, I'm tired today. Huh? How did I get down here? Hey, how did you get get in here? Through the chimney, and there's a fire running too, so I'm probably like badly burned. The store is closed. If you want to buy something? Please come back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I have to do this 50 times and then you'll say something different. And then if I do it 100 times, you'll also say something that I scared all those bugs. Oh my god. Hey. That yellow. That's not yellow. That's green. Uh, I will mark it off my list though. Cross that off. In the cage. Do not throw it in the river this time. Cruel, drowning insects. My mini list of crimes in this game. Hey. Black firefly, you're not black, you're clearly yellow, but okay. In the cage. Scared the beetle again. So I'll let I'll let that one go. There was another bug that I did not catch. It was what over over here, which which was the one I spooked. I don't remember you. Spotted locust. Got it in my field. Cross that off. I didn't catch this one all year. I just had to run around in my pasture. <laughs> it was not you. At least you. It was it was one over here. Oh well. It'll respawn. Actually it might respawn now. Stuff respawns by the hour. Who needs sleep? Sleep is for the weak. Alright, really though, I should probably go to bed. <laughs> we'll do at least one more day. Getting, we're just like so busy just hunting bugs, kind of fun. Yeah, we won't, we won't get to the bazaar probably, we're too preoccupied with other stuff. Now, do I want to send my cow out to pasture? If I send him out to pasture, that means I have to hunt bugs all day. Until five. You're going outside. You're going outside. You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat outside food. <laughs> I'm just like, what I want to eat? Ooh. The bug on my house. <sighs> okay, I guess I jumped too high. No, oh, you came out of the bushes. The tree. Eastern locust. This spawns out of our field. You have to have a crop growing, though. Uh, I was worried that it wasn't going to count if there was a tree there, but it did, so. Happy about that. Cross that off my list. Keep in a cage. I ranked up again. Your critter catching rank went up to great critter catcher. I'm oh, a critter catching master. I'm just catching them all. Oh, let me just strip a bit. And your shortcut. Do, 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 do. I caught you before. You. I will release you. Let's 
make some more cheese. I think I can make some herb cheese with the chamomile that I have. Yeah, let's make some, make some fancy herb cheese with this chamomile. Just like, I think like bag bag space here is getting a little bit dicey. Dang it! I was like trying not to scare the cicada, but I'm don't want to walk around my field. Opal cicada I can only catch this on my farm. This time I'm ready. I caught that one before. Is this one that I spooked off, right? Singing cicada. Oh, the lovely singing cicadas make me think of Higurashi. Such a peaceful anime. Nothing bad happens there. Don't, don't watch it. Don't, don't watch it if you expect something wholesome. Butterfly, no! Um, hello, Lloyd. That's a butterfly. That's a that's a suspicious placement for a butterfly. Got a ring butterfly. Is my first time catching this. Uh, let's cross that off the list. Well, I think I'm just w missing purple brushfoot, and then all the other butterflies I can't catch. I can't catch until year two. <laughs> hey, oh, Kevin, hello. More importantly, there's a weed in the middle of the floor. Alright, Raul, well, you I need I need you to buy more of my bugs. I could probably actually trash these bugs. It's probably faster to put them in the garbage. This is at this point this is this is chump change. Oops. Eh, why not? Uh, like I could probably make a yogurt with this mint, but Sold for quite a pretty penny. Like, should you do want one of these fireflies? I know, I know you like them. I think you might not accept it. Okay, he accepted it. Uh, sometimes, if you don't give people, if you don't interact with people for many days, they won't accept your gift. It's not as egregious as it was in Island of Happiness, though, where you had to, like, talk to them for a week before they even accepted anything. That was annoying. <laughs> and this game is like, just talk to them for a day, check check again tomorrow, and they'll most likely just accept your gift. Okay, that, that was an annoying mechanic. Especially if you're, if you're just specifically aiming to give a gift on someone's birthday, and they're like, no. Like, I prepared this especially for you, and... Spit in my face. Oh, jeez. There are bugs on the houses. Uh. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, like, I'm not finding any cicadas here, but I have a feeling that there should be. Bug. I already caught one of you before. There is grass cicada. First time I'm catching this. Cross that off the list. Silver tiered bug. Don't throw it in the river. It's 
spring cicada. I already caught one of those. Don't throw it in the river. I guess I'll hang out here for a little bit. Let's catch this last fish that I'm missing. <laughs> fish in this game. Like, it says to tap A, but I've never really had problems with, like, A-mashing in this game. I think in Story of Seasons, though, I remember having a hard time catching, like, really big fish like Manta Rays. <laughs> like, I couldn't tap A fast enough, apparently. This game, the the mashing is, feels like more of a suggestion. It might be harder when we get to the bigger fish, though. Chub. Do, 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 do. Come on, where's the top mouth gudgeon? There it is. First time I'm catching this fish. Also. I believe it's the last fish I can catch in this season. There's still there's still more fish I can catch with a short rod. Uh, but we'll wait. If it is a stormy day, I'll, I'll go back out to fish. But otherwise, it's not necessary right now. Well, I was finished up a little bit earlier than I expected. Not sure if I caught that bug. Let me go get you. Back I'll let you live. There's a sparkly on the ground. <laughs> I almost didn't see that. So you want to see if uh, that bug spawned on that house again? Very carefully. I was walking. <laughs> Yeah, I guess... <sighs> Getting, like, flashbacks of me trying to catch the frippin', like, Atlas Moth and Animal Crossing. Screeching hey, hey. Hey, hey. Cicada. First time I caught this one. Let me mark that off my list so I don't go try and look for it again. Maybe I have to jump twice. I am persecuted. <laughs> I'm pretty sure jumping twice scared it the last time, though. It is on a high awning. Like, I'm like trying to be quiet as if that's gonna affect me catching the bug. It's like they can hear, they're gonna hear me through the microphone. Walnut. That's a very sneaky walnut. Hey. Back. Caught you before. Hello, Isaac. Hey. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out that house again. <laughs> Maybe if I approach it from this side. Nope, it didn't respawn yet. Anything on this house? Not really a house, it's a hotel, but... 
pretty sure I taught you before. Rasticate. I'll let you go, or else I'm just gonna accidentally chuck you in the river. I'm gonna go back to that house again. Uh, it might get spooked again though, because I'm approaching from the front. Apparently it has eyes in the back of its head. Nope, didn't spawn. Hey. It might be the cutoff point for, for spawning. They don't- they do have certain spawn times. Like a spring cicada, like, spawning on our farm from 10 to 5, or it, they'll be at the hotel, hotel area from 6 to 8. Or or else like nine to three at like a like a different time period. I'm gonna check my house again. You are there again. <laughs> Please, game. It's gonna be the hardest one. This is gonna be a finicky box, I have a feeling. Jeez, I need more fertilizer. Fertilizer of all different ranks. tree today? I did. I feel like I just came out of the house running. That was fun. I think I've already caught these, like, caught these bugs, though. I was gonna say as I spooked them somehow. Back in the house again. Walk. Just walk, walk dude. Very gently. All right, we caught this one. Singing- it's another singing cicada. I didn't even need to do this. So the hopper, I'm just hoping that I've already caught that before. I caught this one before. I guess it's okay to double check. Some bugs pop up at different time periods. I think that the fireflies are gonna pop up soon. It's almost five. I'm not sure if I want to keep hunting them down or go to bed because I get a little frustrated. It's the last chance to catch this bug on my house. It's not even spawned. It's not even spawned on my house yet. I caught you before. Hey, hey. Speaking cicada. Oh, caught you before, but I'll keep you in a box apparently. You go back home. You run. Where are you going? You run comically fast. I'm pretty sure the cicadas aren't going to spawn anymore. Be very extra careful though. Like, uh... Thought I saw a shiny thing. There's a bug here though. Not a bug. In con concentration, is like if, if I stay silent, the bugs will the bugs will come out. Oh, 
I need to clear out the inventory. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Like, last anime that I watched yesterday was Remonster. Uh, I was not expecting uh, the libido skill to come into play. Uh, that was weird. Uh, but I guess good for him. Um, usually, usually they kind of either they get real weird about it or well, it was pretty weird. Or typically isekai protagonists like they act all pure and flustered and they, they like never get into any relationships. But um, yeah, I figured something would happen when he got the libido skill. Like, that's a weird thing that he just acquired, and then two episodes later, like, oh, he actually used it. He is- he is an ogre, though. Uh, kind of wondering... What the art is go is gonna be on that. They didn't show anything explicit, but... You know. People draw stuff. Sometimes with horrifying detail. There's two overlaid bugs there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. They're like mating, making some sort of hybrid cicada. Oh, cicadas that I've had before. <laughs> Spring cicada. Alright, now the fireflies are starting to come out. Yellow firefly. <clears throat> Be careful about running. There's any butterflies here. I think that's. I think that time of the year is over. There's a beetle there, though. Like just in just in case, I'm gonna walk in front of houses now. No, not you. The other thing that's on my foot. Look at the fireflies. As long as you're walking, they're very they're very forgiving. <laughs> Even if you're right on top of them. Right, candle firefly. First time I've caught this one. I... you are brown. Uh, what are you? Dirt. Okay. Had to walk by all the rivers, find all the fireflies. It'd be mean if a firefly spawned behind that tree, because I would not... I would not even be aware of it. There. Right, the strange rock formation spotted firefly. Fireflies are pretty cool. I like I I you don't get any here where I live, but like going to another state and I'm just like the very it's a very sudden flash. They like only come out at night. It's very creepy when they actually like bump into you though, and you're like, oh god, that was a black insect that just touched me, but it's lighting up! Maybe there might be some fireflies here. Grounds, that's okay. That's okay though. You know, the beetles are also gonna come out, but I, I have a feeling I caught all the beetles in this area. Alright, I'll probably uh check my notes. And focus more on areas that I haven't haven't tackled before. I've caught you like three times already. Please, I'll let you go. This also gave me Animal Crossing vibes of uh, is it New Leaf? Not New New Horizons, but New Leaf. When you went to that one island to catch to catch beetles at night, and it was like a pretty good income. Especially if you weren't into manipulating the stock market. I cannot fit this stuff. All right, shopping trip, and then and then we'll go to bed. I say that, and I'm like checking all the trees, like a dog who found that like a burrito in like a bush. 
Then I always have to check that bush. And Raul, everything must go. Including the mint. I don't have space. I might have to buy another bag or another storage slot at the next bazaar. I rather. I do rather spend it on seaweed though, because if I can get three stacks of seaweed, I it'll, it'll make me more money. Fireflies are missing. Actually, I think some fireflies actually pop up when it's raining, which is gonna be fun. Walnuts, all those. I think you can actually grind walnuts to make like canned walnuts. <laughs> it's like a kind of pointless step. But we're not gonna be able to grind them for many seasons. Town. Ooh, there are fireflies here. There's a lot of fireflies here, as long as I don't run. Cabbage! My cabbages! There we go. I feel like I spooked this one before. Spotted? Okay, there's another spotted. Yellow. Yeah, they're very clustered together. Mm, there is another firefly that pops up too if I, when I get the third field. I've got you before. Go. I don't have space. I don't have space to keep you all. Someday, someday I'll catch the cicada. <laughs> Luckily, I can, it'll, it'll pop up every morning. It'll pop up every morning and taunt me. Uh, this is, I, I know I can put this coin away. I hate how I have to, do, I have to like put it in my inventory and then put it back in. Like, it won't stack. Stuff won't stack if like every single item spot is taken. For some reason. Uh, okay. Sorry, I got like... I got like super focused at the end. Just like, alright, what, what bug am I missing? Where are the bugs? I do find I like, yeah, when I'm like super focused, I get, I get super quiet. Uh, yeah, we still we still have not caught a lot of the beetles. We've caught most of the fireflies though. Uh, the cicadas we have to work on. Yeah, I will. I will double check my notes. But we we caught all the fish. We like barely. <laughs> we we've had this fishing rod for two days and we already accomplished what we needed from it until until fall. Uh, anywho, yeah, we've been going for quite a while. Uh. Next episode, we'll try to go a little faster. <laughs> try to go a little faster and get to the bazaar. Make more money. Rinse, repeat. And I'm trying to think what, what, what our next goal is. So what, when do we get the next windmill? Manufacturing windmill we get on like summer 17th. Like two weeks. Two weeks or so. Um, if we, if we want to save up money for some ore, we can upgrade our tools as well. Uh, anyway, just babbling at this point. I hope you guys are having a fun and relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.